In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the new beta blitz out of Dollar um, that people are using online in the MCS. What's good, guys? Thanks for watching the video. If you're watching this video and you want to check out my Dollar defense, make sure that you join our Patreon. For just $10, you're going to get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. We actually have two versions of the Dollar defense. One was a little bit more man heavy, uh, and the last one that we did is actually a little bit more zone friendly and zone heavy um, so two renditions really really powerful defense in my opinion and if you want to check out the ebook the link is in the description for just ten dollars you get access to everything in the patreon including our dollar three two off or a defensive ebook so if you want to sign up for that head down to the description you can click the link down below but in today's video we're taking a look at the new meta blitz out of dollar you can do it out of pretty much anything literally anything but we're going to do it out of cover one Robert Press. Um, and literally, fairly simple. All you're going to do is you are going to shift your linebackers to the left. You're going to globally blitz your linebackers. You're going to QB contain. And voila, you're done. And what you're going to see is we're going to loop off of the left side. Now, the running back kind of dumbed out the blitz, but I'll show it to you again. So very simple setup. Literally, all you're going to do, you're going to shift your linebackers to the running back side you're going to globally blitz your linebackers you're going to qb contain i like to stand to the opposite side of the running back and what you'll see is anthony Barr is too slow but you see the basic idea now obviously i got to use the running back or i got to have help uh help for that as well um, but we'll get to that in just a second i just want to show you the blitz first and foremost so again there it is boom i don't know why anthony Barr is getting held up but uh, anyway, we'll get to, we'll, we'll put someone faster in. But basically, the faster the player, the faster the player you have there, the better this blitz is. And it's really um, we'll, we'll throw Mike we'll throw Micah Parsons down there for sure. Uh, we'll throw Micah Parsons over here. We'll put Barr over here because he's kind of kind of not doing what we want him to do. Um, <laughs> so uh, anyway, let me put a play where the running back's not doing that little weird uh, animation. There you see there, boom, just shift my linebackers to the running back side, blitz my linebackers and QB contain. And then, you know, for coverage, we can do whatever we want. We can do that if we want or whatever. And what you'll see is Micah Parsons coming in hot at the quarterback. Now, another thing that you can do um, if you are having some issues getting the blitz to come in consistently is after you contain, go ahead and recrash your line down. And what I find with this is that will also help the disengage a little bit better. Okay, that will also help the disengage just a little bit better, make it a little bit more consistent. Um, it's also helpful, I think, if you do have, um, you can move this guy, go ahead and just move him a step or two. So if you're having any kind of consistency issues with the blitz, you could try some of those things, just moving him a little bit one way or the other. Now you could also do this to the right side. So I'm gonna shift my linebackers to the right. And now you're going to see, we're going to set the contain up over there on that side now. And what you'll see is Anthony Barr sucks, but you see the idea. So you can do this on either side. I think it's best uh, to the running back side. Whichever side is uncovered, I think is the best way to do this. And again, if you want to put you know your user on a zone um, and kind of get in here and help kind of distract this guard, um, I think it's going to help significantly. But what's going to happen a lot of times is you're going to get that quick shed animation um, in for a sack as well. Now, the beauty of this blitz, the beauty of this defense is I don't have to manually move anybody. Um, that's one of the big features of this that I think is really helpful. Uh, you don't want to have to manually move anybody if you can help it. And so this really affords us an opportunity to be able to play really good coverage against you know the meta. And um, you see right there, he's going to get get that shed animation now i want to show you one other thing that's actually really good about this blitz pretty much standard way that most people like to pick up pressure is they like to block their running back what you're going to notice with this defense is it's going to mean micah parsons is going one-on-one -on -one with james connor okay um you're going to oftentimes get this guy to loop around um this is also really good against bunch so they're gonna feel the pressure with this. This is super helpful. And you can take the backside and do whatever you want. You can man up the defensive lineman on the tight end if you wanted to. Um, kind of the sky's the limit, honestly, with, with what you wanna do on the defense side from an adjustments perspective. But there you see Micah Parsons. See how he just kind of like loops around 
that little loop pressure is really good in game because it's not going to come in every single time, but it's going to come in enough where they're going to have to be forced um, to move in the pocket and feel the pressure a little bit. Now I want to show you the same blitz against Bunch. Pass protection is obviously a little different Bunch this year um, you know, than it's ever been. And you'll see right here that by and large, it's going to be a little bit more consistent. This blitz will be a little bit better uh, for Bunch than it's going to be for U-Trips just because of the way the line targets. Um, so we'll show it to you again here. Watch Michael Parsons. There you see, boom, around the edge. Now, that could have been a little fluke just because of the uh, edge start animation, but I'm just telling you right now, you're going to get this pretty consistently. Like, I'd say probably eight, 70 to 80% of the time for me online, this is coming in, even if they block a running back. And we're only sitting three. We're only sitting three people because um, you can take that backside guy. And again, especially if you have Lurker on him, which it's Madden 23, so why would you not? Um, you know, but anyways... You see right there, simple heat, simple pressure. One of my favorite defenses in the game. And like I said, if you're having any trouble getting the blitz to come in, try just moving this guy just a little bit more closer to the line of scrimmage and standing on this side. And now you see there we're getting the glitchy disengage blitz. Love this defense. The shift D out of dollar. Um, dollar is good because you can do this all globally with your adjustments. You don't have to touch anybody, move anybody, uh, which is super helpful. And there you see the pressure coming in for the sack. So I love this defense. If you want to learn more about it, jump in our Patreon. It's only $10. I did a 55-minute update video for dollar yesterday. So if you want to get access to that, you get access to the full ebook and the update videos and the film rooms and all the other ebooks for 10 bucks. Um, so if you want to sign up for that, $10. Link is in the description. Thanks for watching the video, and we hope to see you guys over at the Patreon page.